Ruff Ruff videos. Hi, my ILS students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Happy week 10. We are working on science this week. And what we're doing today is a paper helicopter. So if you're looking at your science week 10 packet, pull out Tuesday week 10. And I'm gonna go over the introduction to the paper hel helicopter. Scientists are sending the Perseverance rover to Mars. So remember that was our story for the last two weeks to help them learn more about Mars. The rover has a small helicopter named Ingenuity. If it works as planned, Ingenuity will be the first aircraft to fly on another planet. Like other helicopters, Ingenuity will use blades to fly. The blades spin very fast, creating an upward force called lift. Lift happens when the air pressure below the blades is higher than the air pressure above the blades. So helicopters are pushed upward. In this activity, we're gonna make paper helicopters. The paper helicopters do not use lift, but they do use air and gravity. When you toss the paper helicopter, it starts to fall downward. The paper clip will add the weight to one end so it falls correctly with the paper blades on top. Air presses up on the blades in equal force, but in the opposite direction, making the helicopter spin. Before starting the activity, we're gonna wanna use all the stuff I have. So let's first go to, look at that. All you need is your paper helicopter page cutout and a paper clip. Well, I think you're also gonna need some scissors. So Miss Kelly sent home some scissors, so you have those too. So let's go to our paper helicopter page. Miss Kelly's gonna pull it out of the packet. Please do the same, just like that. And let's see what happens when we start this. What do we know? The Perseverance rover has a small helicopter. Helicopters are aircraft. Helicopters use propellers to fly. What we can do? We can make a paper helicopter. So we know what we need. We need this paper clip and we're gonna need scissors too. So first you're gonna cut out the blades to start with. So cut the dotted line. Just like Miss Kelly is cutting the dotted line. If you need help, go ahead and have someone help you. the dotted line. Ms. Kelly has to figure out what happens next. So we're going to fold A along the solid line toward the middle of D. So I'm going to need to cut A here, another dotted line. And it looks like I need to cut here, another dotted line, just like that. So since we're cutting the dotted lines, we will cut the dotted lines. There we go. Okay. So fold A. Here's A into D. There we go. There's A folded. Just like that. And fold B along the side of the line toward the middle of D also. So we're folding this one just like that. So there we go. And then it says fold C up along the solid line. So here we go, here's C. We're gonna attach the paper clip to the bottom 
over folded C. Just like that. So there's that. And I'm going to turn the page so we can continue following the direction. It says fold E down along the solid line toward you. So here's E. Here's the solid line toward me. I'm going to fold. Fold F down along the solid line away from me. So we're going to fold that one this way. We're going to hold the helicopter by the paper clip end. We're going to toss it into the air. So let's see how it goes. Ready? Okay, flex. Two. Let's count. One, two, three. Oh, let's even get it up higher. Let's go over here where we have a little more room to fly. One, two, three. It did work. It landed right on the table after I tried to eat it. Okay. One, two, three. There you go. You guys made your own paper helicopter. And that's pretty cool. I hope you guys are doing great. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough videos.